popping on. There it goes. Greeting people of God. Welcome to another Sons of God broadcast. I was just going to make this video for myself, but um, I'm, I'm going to prepare it for I can give to the public or either I might just keep it for myself. But there's some things going on now that is really incredible. And um, the word of God said, you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And this word is just not to everybody. It's only to the good seed, the children of the kingdom. And in the, in the book of uh, Matthew, I believe it is, it said the good seed of the children of the kingdom. And we got to realize that Satan, and whose name is not even called Satan, is called, called Gad Riel, God Riel. G-A-D-R-E hyphen E-L, Gad Riel. And if you look in uh, the book of Enoch, even in the Hallelujah Scriptures, they tell you the um, the names of 21 Satans, not just one, but 21. And if you're reading the book of um, Enoch, I think it's chapter 41, it talks about uh, the 21 Satans. Remember Daniel went on the 21 day and night fast? Okay, that's uh, a clue to, because, to the fact that it's 21 Satans. And uh, Ant Anton the Bay, the one that wrote the satanic book, his on the cover of his book it's not six six six, cause that's a, that's the number of a system, even though it says it's the number of a man, and that man is not just talking about one man, it's talking about the Adamic whole creation of the Adamic man that was never born again, and then uh, and he has on the cover of that satanic book seven seven seven, not six six six. Because 666 is the number of the mark of the beast system. But 777 is talking about the people of the uh, mark of the beast. Because uh, remember Daniel's prayers was held up for 21 days. And in the, like I said in the book of Enoch, it talks about the 21 Satans. And it said the third one of these Satans, who was a, a, a chief of all of these other uh, 20 Satans, name was... Gad Rael, but they took the names out of the King James Bible and took put the name Jesus in there from the Latin. The name Gad Rael, they changed that and they put another name in there, God and Lord. So when we when we call the Father and the Son Lord Jesus or God, we would we're addressing the name of Satan. Because the real name of Satan in the original um, Torah or the original Hebraic uh, Hebrew language is Gad Rael. But, or God, but it's pronounced God Rael. God Rael. So short for God Rael is God. So now we got to retrain our mind not to address the Son of the Father as um, um, Jesus, but it's. Yahshua, and the name of the Father is Yahuwah, or you you safe to call him Yah. It's much better than calling him God because that's that's the name of Satan. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for me, even you know, and even I notice now. But he said, "You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." And it's a great, awesome, incredible revelation over there in the Book of Songs of Solomon, chapter one, verse three. I got to go there. Oh, man, my Bible's way down there. But I can I can just look it up on my phone. No, I can look it up on my phone. Mm -hmm. Well, give me the Bible then. Mm -hmm. And a great revelation was revealed in the book of Songs of Solomon. I'm going to read it. In the book of Songs of Solomon. Mm -hmm. Where is that? I'm black. In the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3, it says, Because the smell or savor of thy good ointments or oil, it says, Because of the smell of thy good oils or ointments, thy name is as oil poured forth, therefore do the virgins love thee. An incredible revelation is revealed here. Remember the parable of the ten virgins, the five foolish and five wise? 
the five wise virgins was because they knew the father's the name of the bridegroom and now uh, you look over there in the book of proverbs chapter 30 verse 4 it says tell me if you can the name of the uh father and the son i'm going i got to go there man i'm you know i've been so extremely restless in my body the father and the rah 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 i forgot how you pronounce that name the rah hua hook rahak uh it means spirit the rahak well anyway i'm just gonna stick with father and son because <laughs> you know the pronunciation of the father the name of the father is yahweh or yahua yahua or or and the name of the son is yahushua but you can just say yahshua that's good enough you'll be fine you won't be blaspheming god by calling the son jesus and and addressing the father as you know um god or lord all the word lord in the original language it means bail man i'm not, it's incredible man i've been so um excited and stimulated in my beings even in my nerves that man i was just, I was just tossing and turning i couldn't get no rest nowhere nothing nope rest i don't care if i had a, a king size bed at the chateau de ville hotel i still wouldn't be able to rest because i had to speak this word but i remember uh last month i had told god i want to be see, see the lord speaking to me right now telling me i'm just doing what you told me i said lord don't let me be behind where you're moving in the spirit let me be there no matter what you have to do to get me there put me there uh, okay so now i'll be trying to rest when i know the lord is calling me to study and i can't rest to save my life now the lord is telling me you told me to do it and now i feel like i'm going to be restful peaceful when i try again now since i made it making this video because i'm being obeying what god told me to do if the spirit is here you should be here could god almighty if the spirit's here and you're somewhere else you're in the wrong place Good God Almighty. Man, I'm so glad I'm getting this on tape. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Father and the Son. Yahushua and Yahshua. Hallelujah. Most High God. Bless your name, Lord. Bless it. You should go right there. The Queen. Right there. Can you see her? You see you? Yeah. That's the queen over there. She kind of quiet right now, but she's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, man. Oh Lord, man, I'm I'm so excited. I'm feel like I'm passed out, man. Oh. Yeah, serious. That's her right there. Oh yeah, sunlight in eyes. But that's the queen over there. She give me everything. Yep, baby, my, my baby. All the time. No, she just said, y'all, she said she broke all the time because she buy me everything. But you know what? The Bible said don't come in the presence of the Son to God unless you bring gifts, tithes, and offerings. She bring me gifts, tithes, and yeah, offerings. Right. Yeah. But she be broke, yeah. But you know what? It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. You know, I'm, my life is a sacrifice, and we... Uh, joining in the sufferings of Jesus Christ. Paul said, the reason why I suffer so much in my body is because I'm making for what that which is lacking in the body of Christ. What? What, Paul? Okay, look over there in um, Colossians. Dang, I'm trying to remember. Colossians 1.24. I'm going to read it to y'all, man. Y'all got to hear this because what they told in that place they call the church that once you come to Yahshua, not Jesus, but that's what they call them. Once you come to Jesus, all your problems, you don't have no more problems. But in reality, a lot of problems ain't gonna they're gonna just begin for you when you come to the Father and the Son. In the name of the Son. Listen to this. Who now rejoice in my suffering? Did you hear that? 
Okay, listen now. Y'all listen, y'all gotta get this. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, us, which is the church. Oh man, y'all ain't y'all it's hard to get that. And it's another one on um, Where's that other scripture at? Uh, man, I gotta find it. No, I got it. I got it right there. Yeah. I gotta look this up, y'all. See, um, I need to read that again, though. Yeah. About the sufferings, because a lot of people think that um, that once you come to the Father in the name of the Son, that all your sufferings are over. Nope. They're going to be just. The Bible said. Them, for they that shall live godly. Shall suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. And it also said. We through much tribulation. Must enter the kingdom of God. Philippians 3 and 20. Let's go there. About suffering. See I got all over here on suffering. And I was talking about something else. So I'm going to come back to that though. Philippians what I say, 320 or 120? Huh? 320. And was it 320? For our... Was it 320? No. No, 230. Philippians 230. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go back to that Colossians 124 because I know y'all don't forgot by now. I'm going to Colossians 124. Okay, if you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I Paul am made a minister. Who now rejoice in my suffering. Paul said I rejoice in my suffering. For you. And fill up that which is behind. Of the afflictions of Christ. In my flesh for his body's sake. Which is the church. Okay. Okay now we want to find um, Philippians 2.30. Where's that? At? Philippians 2.30. Because. For the work of Christ, he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. You hear that? Mm -hmm. See, man, well, see, what I'm trying to point out, see, because the world, we're not going to be able to touch the world unless we have laid down something of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If people really knew what it was going to cost them to, to come to the Father, in the name of the Son, Yahuwah and Yahshua, Yahweh, they won't, they wouldn't do it. And they wouldn't do Because the Bible said, take up your cross, your cross and follow me as I carry mine. He said, I got one and you got one. No, I don't want to hear that, man. They ain't coming to hear that they got a cross to bear. No, they're coming to, they go to church because they want their pastor to be like a stewardess on a plane. Would you like a pillow? Would you like a cup of milk? No, it ain't no padded cross. They want, they want cushion and a recliner on their cross while they're hanging up there. They said, what do you want with your cross? Would you like your nails to be made of wood or, or iron? They said, what? Do I, what do I want my nails made of? Marshmallow cream cakes. That will. <laughs> Forget all that. Forget all that. But I'm just telling you, people don't. They ain't going to church ahead that they're going to have to die. Run, run, run. They don't want to hear that, run. But I got to tell you the truth. You know, if you love them, you got to tell them the truth. You got to tell the truth. So this suffering. Acts 14.22, it says, we through much tribulation 
into the kingdom of God. And you know what the, 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 the he said, we, we, tribul we glory in tribulation. You know, you know what the sad application of God applying his glory is? Suffering. That's one of the prerequisites. It's required beforehand. Pre means beforehand, and requisite means that which is required. Suffering is the prerequisite of the glory. No, somebody said no cross, no crown. You know, that's really true. Man, so let me get back over here. You know what? There's going to be an um, Antichrist coming. The Bible declares that it's coming. And you know, over 2 billion of so-called Christians are going to be led right straight to that Antichrist. And you know what are going to be the tools that is going to be used by Satan to get to pull them in? This right here. The, the so-called Holy Bible. And uh, Deuteronomy, I think it is 2 and 4, he said, don't add or take away from these words of this prophecy. And it's also said in Revelation. You know why the Lord said that? Because he knew that Satan and his cohorts, I won't say who they is, it's a race of people. But I might as well tell you and let you know the truth. But they can be saved. It's called the Caucasian or better known as the white man. Yes, they're the seed of Satan, King, the devil, yeah. And I know those black people, the Muslims and so-called Farrakhan, it's, devils can't be saved. Yes, they can. They can be saved. They can be grafted in. But here's the problem is going to be for them. They have to be grafted in by one of the true people of God, which are all black. The Bible declares it, that God was black himself. The son of God. Oh, dare I go use the name God. Sorry, Lord. I repent. The father was black. The son was black. Jeremiah was black. John was black. David was black, but every time Hollywood put out a movie, they're all white. In the book of Maccabees, 348 said they, they painted the face of the saints of the Most High. Run, run. Get on that, get on that. Yum, yum, I'm upset, man. A conspiracy, a global conspiracy. Been going. This girl, right there. A global conspiracy. Yep. Every time you see a movie about David, Moses, Joshua, what color are they? Every single one. You ain't never seen none of them played black. And in reality, in real life, all of them was black. And when you see them come out of Hollywood on your TV and the movie screen, they all white. So, in the book of... um. Ezra's five five fifty one, I think it is. They said they thought to paint the faces of the saints of the Most High. Good God Almighty, man! Oh man! They thought to paint the faces. They painted the faces, and they changed the names of the pers places, persons, places, or things in the Bible. They changed the names. In the name of the name Lord, it means Baal. Talking about the name of Satan. In the name God is another name of Satan. God Rael. God for short. In the name Jesus, in the Latin means a pig, a, a earth pig, or a pig from the dirt. All those names, Lord, Jesus, and, and God. Baba, in the name of the Son, don't let me say these words ever again. Address the Father as the Father, Yahushua, Yahweh, Yahweh, Y-A-H-W-A-H, Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahshua, man, he said you should know the truth and you shall make you be. Hallelujah. That's the main thing we're going to know is his name. And that's going to be oil in our lamps. And we'll be able to meet the bridegroom. How are you going to be able to meet the bridegroom you don't even know what his name is? See, when you get married, you get his name. 
Oh man, I just got something. It's a declaration that we're married now. We're coming. We're one flesh. When we get, when you get married, you get to know your husband's name. Ooh, that's why he's letting the bride know his name. This is a revelation that it's time for the wedding. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it in a second. Oh man, time for the wedding. Oh. Mm -hmm. The wedding feast of the Lamb. It said the bride has made herself ready. Mm -hmm. And so that's when the Lord gave us his name. When a man gets married, he gives his wife his name. And also he said, I will give you a, a stone. With a name written that nobody knows but you. Oh, right on. Oh, right on. The queen just said something that was right on time. He said to him that overcome, I will give a stone written with a name that nobody knows but he himself. Oh, man. Oh, snap. Oh, I got to quit there. I got to leave this thing alone, man.